<laughs> Here we are, backstage with Mike Muir from Suicide Authenticity. Hi, it's nice to meet you. What was your name again? Oh, it's nice to meet you too. Uh, uh, evil, evil Wiener. <laughs> I was just saying that uh, my webcast, dude, has been huge. I mean, is this about you or is it about you? <laughs> this is you. They, they've seen enough of my bullshit. Everybody, I want to hear you say, yeah! <laughs> yes! Yes! Inside joke. So how's the, uh, how's the uh, French tour been going here? You're tour at the end of it. You have this show and one more, right? Two more up here? So, oh yeah, that's right. Was it the... Uh, Bebop Festival? Bebop Festival. We're talking about bands. Yeah. And, oh, have a... <laughs> yeah. and he won't be getting any. <laughs> we guys got a whole line of fucking bands. Yeah, uh, shoes coming out. Yeah, yeah. When I was a little kid, you know, when, when uh, with the new school year, you got your one pair of Levi's and your one pair of shoes. So that was bands. So yeah, <laughs> yep. we've always, always worn them. They've always been, uh, you know, very cool. From the time that we were kids, yeah, for sure. Yeah, so we always wear it, so it's nice to have. I got the prototypes. So Kind of drop them in the room, you know. So, like, hey, wait, what? So it's kind of cool. Really. I think they're really cool. Dude, I got, oh my god, after the show was over, there was so many people that were just like, where can I get this suicide shirts? And where can I, and tell all these motherfuckers, you can get them on your goddamn website, right? I mean, it ain't that goddamn hard. The website, easy. You know, everybody's going, where do you get the sticky shirts, man? I, I don't know, I can't find them anywhere. I'm like, dude, you know, the, the website, I point all these people to your website all the time. I go to your shows. And three quarters of the audience knows who I am. It's a fucking trip, man. Where before, nobody would know who the fuck I am. It was crazy. I'd, I'd go to your shows and it was just like, you know, represent. Let me tell you how many times I heard that. Represent. Uh, what do we got with the uh, DVD? The DVD of the show that we did together. <laughs> Two days before that show, I woke up and I walk. I was like, told everybody that, and they're like, ah, oh, he's being a little this and that, but uh, do the show, you know how to do it. Kathy, you're all right. And then, so I remember you calling me the day after, day after that, and saying that. You had to have another surgery, and I felt. Do you remember? Like I didn't call you back. Do you remember? You're like you call me over. You go. What am I on the shit list or something? And nobody used that word except my dad. My dad would always say like shit list. And you're like, well, what am I on the shit list? You're not calling me back. What's the deal? And I was like, I felt so guilty. Like I was like talked you into doing the show like too early and it fucked your back up. I felt horrible. I think that's when I met you. When I walked backstage. Because we talked on the phone for months, months, like three times a week, four times a week, five times a week sometimes, and five times a day sometimes. That sounded a little scary there, man. But I mean, we talked a lot, and, but we never actually met until the day of the show at the Olympic, and I walked backstage, and you know, we are like stretching, and, and we said hi, but you didn't realize it was me, and then I came in later, and then all of a sudden you like lit up. I always have a situation, you do like interviews or something like that. And people, you know, kind of cool, like, yeah, yeah, cool, I'm going to show you, I see that, I see that. And so then one time, this person said, oh, he was so rude, he didn't say how to look at that shit. And I got no idea what you are, man. Yeah. I'm talking on the phone. How are you supposed to know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it was serious. I go, you got to be joking. I'm like, can you call this person? They're all upset. Go over this thing. Like, well, how am I going to go? I'm going to go. 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 And I was like, I go, you're joking. I really thought they were joking. They wanted, you know, 
doing yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 How you know something? Oh, it's cool. Like, it's it's, it's kind of funny sometimes because it's like, yeah, you know, didn't know, and they were like, yeah, it's a it's a weird deal, yeah. We would grab, you know, finish a record, put a new record out, do the world tour, you know, that kind of thing and stuff. And, um, and so we go, we'd rather put that out than the, than the live, the live thing. So now it looks like we'll be putting out next year after that. So I think that's cool. And, uh, we're excited. Are we getting close? Yeah. yeah. All right. So we let you do your warm ups and let the uh, add to the big smell that I was smelling back there. <laughs> but uh, hey, I'm looking forward to, and I'm sure everybody else is too, to the you know the DVD coming out. Well, we have a special segment with like a bullshit session with uh, with us. Of how we actually put that thing, and I say that we put that together because we yeah, did put yeah, that together. Yeah. Put it together, watched it fall apart a couple times. Wait, I remember I was just telling James. I said, put together, yeah, watch one it point, fall uh, up. yeah, yeah, Charlie. <laughs> one word, Charlie. But. Uh, I think it was at one point where uh, you, you pick up the phone and you go, um, I don't know if you realize this or not, but I'm the only singer that's not dead. <laughs> and I'm like, oh fuck, we gotta, we gotta go revamp this. <laughs> this kind of... <laughs> hey, it was great seeing you backstage. Oh uh, yeah, we fucked that up for a second. Anyhow, uh, this is gonna wrap it for right now. We'll be back later. Let's go!